Hello, everybody, and thanks for joining us today for our webinar on the topic Effective SAP Transportation Management for Perfect Order Fulfillment. Today, our speaker, Rupak, will be discussing the solutions towards modern logistics and what benefits you can get out of it. Just a quick introduction to our speaker. Rupak Hazra is a senior SAP Transportation Management Consultant at Crips with over 10 years of experience in SAP consulting and project implementation, as well as over 15 years of total IT experience. He is certified in both SAP PM and SAP ERP functional. On the next slide, I will go over some quick housekeeping tips. If any questions arise during the webinar, please type them into the GoToWebinar panel as shown in this example. We will address questions at the end of the presentation during the questions and answer portion. If you won't be able to answer any questions, we will definitely get back to you via email. Now, on the next slide, I'd like to quickly introduce Crip. Crip is a leading SAP consulting partner operating globally with over 800,000 hours of SAP consulting in various industries. We provide services such as implementations, upgrades, customization around various SAP solutions, including trade, transportation, warehouse planning, and HANA. We also offer custom solutions, integration services, and we work closely with excuse me, SAP itself for ramp up and testing. On the next slide, I'd like to share our thought leadership. Here you can see some of uh, the books we have authored in the SAP supply chain space. And we also have over 100 blogs and white papers, which are available on our website. Moving to the next slide, there is a quick overview uh, of Crypt products, which complement the SAP suite. There are like Crypt Visibility, Crypt Cloud, Crypt Connect, Crypt UX, and Crypt Concierge. And to get more information on that, you just need to visit our website. On the next slide, um, you can see a quick overview just of some companies we have worked with in the SAP supply chain space. And finally, I would like to pass over to my colleague, Rupak. Thank you. Thank you, Victoria, for giving an overview on Crypt. And also thank, 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 thank to you for introducing me. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I thank all of you for attending this webinar on SAP transportation management. So in today's era, you know, transportation plays a vital role in business supply chain. And as leaders of your respective organization, I'm sure that you all want to reduce your transportation cost on one hand and improving the service level on the other hand. So here service level means or refer to the on-time delivery to the customer, and right product to the right, right customers without, without any damage. Having saying so, we have our agenda in this webinar SAP TM with the introduction, which we already have, followed by what are the various challenges or current challenges that the transportation management face or have day-to-day -day challenges that uh, are there uh, when the business using the transportation. It will, be for, it will be followed by transportation management key performance indicators. Then we'll discuss about what are the functionality that SAP TM offers. And finally, what are the benefit that we can derive from SAP transportation management? So having saying so, let me give you some of the business challenges that we face every day while we transport the goods from source location to destination location. So here source location may be plant, maybe warehouse, and destination location on the other hand, maybe again a plant or warehouse or distribution center that belongs to the shipper who is basically shipping or to the customer. So the most important challenges that we face with the trans transportation system is the capacity underutilized. So often our transport system will carry the goods which is partially filled or half filled 
and therefore it is not optimally utilized and hence a lot of cost will be incurred while we are transporting the goods the second important challenges that we face every now and then is the truck idle time we can see the truck is waiting at the bay and it is not properly managed or manually managed and therefore there's a mix up of which particular truck has to be moved to which particular location at what time within the warehouse to load the goods or to or to uh, unload the goods so therefore a lot of time get wasted in here and therefore the time is money so the cost also get incurred during transportation then we have manual tracking it's a most painful 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 thing in today's business scenario where the customers the planners of the business and the driver all are linked with the mobile and trying to track the time uh, and the status of the vehicle where it is and therefore here a lot of time also gets involved and therefore the cost incurred is also huge this is another important aspect of the challenges of for the transportation system where we are not able to get the right carrier of the vendor who will supply me the truck on time mainly we perform the manual calling to arrange the truck and therefore the whole process of planning goes in vain the another important challenge is all the trucks are waiting at the toll they 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 required all the trucks need to show or verify the documents which they use during transportation and those documents are like waiver or challans or road permit depending on the requirement of different countries across the globe and lot of time get wasted in preparation of those documents manually manual preparation of the documents and to keep the documents in synchronization or in order format and huge amount of time gets wasted and finally we have a manual charge calculation where all the costs are there in the excel sheet and there is no proper or a transparency between the carrier offering the uh, cost and the and the expectation of the shippers so these are all the challenges which currently the transportation management face and therefore transportation cost becomes huge uh, that is incurred by the business now what are the transportation key performance indicators and how we can use these indicators to control the two most important parameters of the transportation system that is the transportation and the service levels the first important key performance indicator is on time shipment how many times the delivery happened on time to the customers then service levels so there are certain services so only the truck providing the capacity to move from source to destination is not the only service there are other services like for example the labor who is loading the goods the forklift which is used to lift the goods the truck driver who is actually carrying the goods so the percentage of their availability then capacity utilization so this is the most common thing how much percentage of the capacity that the truck provides is uh, fulfilled during the transportation then resource usage the proper usage of resources that are used to transport the goods from source to destination this is another important key performance indicators that is called transit so time taken by the truck to move from the source to destination whether the planned time has been achieved or not or if it is not achieved what is the what is the difference between the actual and the planned one on time pickup how many times the vendor has sent the right truck at the right time and the truck is available on the spot to get it loaded so that is the on time pickup then claim percentage for the freight cost so claim how frequency the carrier is claiming for the cost and what is the amount of the claim and finally the planned revenue and the cost so whatever revenue we have planned and whatever cost has been incurred what is the difference between that is is one of the key performance indicators and all these indicators helps to control the cost on one hand and to improve the service level on the other hand now finally we come to what are the function of sap transportation management or what are the functionalities that sap transportation management offers so to to 
see how these functions work for uh, the given transportation management system, I've taken an example and a method methodology which is often used in the business, which is known as the Deming cycle. And this cycle comprises of four important steps. That is first we have to plan it, then we have to do it, that is execute it. And finally, we have to check it. So check whatever plan we, have, we did and whatever actuality happens, how much is the deviations, that is a check. And then we act upon it. So we try to improve it by improving certain parameters. And we found that all the SAP transportation management functionalities can be mapped very easily into this methodology. And using these functions, we can able to have a continuous improvement on the service level and as well as to and reducing the cost. So in the plan side, we have order management, which is already there in the ECS system. It take, take care of all the sales order, purchase orders, the deliveries, which basically plan for the, the product which the customer is ordering, the quantity of the products and the delivery date and from which plant they are ordering. So all this planning happens in the order management in the ECC system. The freight planning and tendering is the functionality which will be there in the TM system and it helps to plan and optimize the truck and who, who will be the right vendor who will supply the truck so that we can able to plan it on time and the delivery can also reach on time to the customers. So once we plan, then what are the execution that we perform? So various executions are like printing of the documents that I have already cited one of the important challenges. We have manual of, a lot of manual activities that we have in preparation of the documents. Then transport, transport freight, which is the actual movement of the truck from source location to the destination location. And these are, and there are status which helps to indicate where the transport freight is. And there is track and managing the transportation milestone event, which is one of the most important functionality that SAP TM transportation management offers. Using this event management, we can able to track exactly what are the various milestones that the truck has reached. Like say, for example, loading of the truck, load start and load end, those timestamp and date will be captured. When the truck is moving from source to destination, then all the events which will happen, say for example, the truck moves to, an, to, to some location where it has to, it has to remove the goods and it has to again reload the goods. So what, what timestamp it will take to do that? So all these events will be captured, which is basically two part of this particular gaming cycle. Then once my execution has happened, I have the report in my system with respect to various key performance indicators that already I have explained, like for example, planned service level, planned service utilization, planned resource usage, transit time, on-time pickup, and planned cost. And we can able to see how much deviation has happened from whatever we have planned. And in that, we can able to use some different tools like YY analysis or fishbone diagram to find out the exact pinpoint problem. What are the factors which leads to this problem? And once we pinpoint those factors, we can able to change those inputs, input parameter for planning. And therefore, again, this whole cycle starts. And that is how the continuous improvement happens, which improves the service levels on one hand and reduce the cost on the other hand with all these functionalities that is offered by SAP transportation management in place. Now we try to map the key transportation management functions to the key performance indicators. So we have on the left, the key transportation management functions and on the right, the key performance indicators that I have already explained. So we have order management and planning as one of the important functions of transportation management. And it is mapped to the service levels, capacity utilizations and resource usage as the KPIs. We have carrier selection and tendering, which map to on-time pickup, and on-time shipment. Then we have execution and monitoring, which map to transit time and on-time shipment. And finally, we have charge calculation and cost distribution, which will map to claim percentage for freight cost and plan revenue and cost. Now, so once we have explained about what all the functionalities are there, now we are going into the details of this functionality. So the most important functionality that TM
effort. And we now want to see what are the data which the transportation management system fetches from ERP system. So there is the master data like customer, plant, product, shipping points. And on the other hand, the transactional data like sales order, delivery, even the purchase order, which can be sent from ERP system to TM system. And once TM system received this information, it will perform the planning, it will perform the execution, and finally it will perform the selection settlement, and obviously it will perform the area selection and tendering. So we need not have to again maintain another set of master data in TM system. There are a few master data which is only specific to TM system, but whatever the current business is running, those master data we need not have to again maintain it. Secondly, we need not have to input the data for transaction. Already the data is there in the ERP system like sales order, delivery, or purchase order. So only thing we have to transfer it to TM system. So once this TM system perform all its activity, it will send back the transactional data to the ERP system. So that is the beauty of the TM system. Now, once the data is available in transportation SAP TM system or transportation management system, it has to perform the planning. So one of the important consideration is the capacity. So it, it, will, it will consider the vehicle through which we will transport the goods from the source to destination. So here I will give examples of the vehicles which we used, which is used by the business to transport the goods. There are many more, many more, but few of this of this vehicle resource I'll just uh, explain. And first important thing is the active vehicle without capacity. So this is the vehicle only with engine. There is no capacity. We have active vehicle with capacity. So these are kind of vehicle which has both the capacity as well as the engine with it. We have passive vehicle. These are container or trailers which does not have any engine with it. It cannot move on its own. It needs the active vehicle to move. And finally, we have truck chains. So here we have the container or the trailers which will be attached to the active vehicle and it will become a train. So all this can be set up in the SAP transportation management system and it can go beyond, it can scale beyond and this will be considered well. Then availability of the resource. So only the capacity that will be provided by the truck is not enough. I need some other resources like I need labor, I need forklift. So these are all required to load the goods into this in, in, in the truck and to unload the goods from the truck. The first important thing is the labor. So labor has labor does not work for 24 by 7, a, a single labor. They have their own time frame or period of uh, work. And secondly, they have breaks. So all this time will be considered during the planning. We have hand lift which are used. So a specific hand lift for specific product which is ordered by a particular customer. So what is the time uh, when this particular forklift or hand lift is available in the system for the labor to use it? We have forklift here also. What is the break? How much time it is for break or how much time it is available? Load up a specific product. And finally, the availability of the driver. Driver can also go to break and they have their own uh, period of time frame where they will operate. So all these times will be considered when we perform the planning in the SAP transportation management system. The third important thing is the cost concern, which is which is the most important aspects which we all look, look for. So here I have taken two important simple examples and it can also go to various, it, will, it can be scale up to various requirements as per the business. So one is the destination based cost. So I have taken two scenario where I have plant, I have customer A and customer B. And there, and we have the distance and the rate ac across the route. For example, from plant to customer A, I have this distance 200 miles and I have rate of $1.9 per miles. Then I have, I have the rate between plant and customer B and also the distance. And also I have distance and rate between customer A and customer B. Now I can move the truck from plant to customer A and to customer B. So suppose I have a requirement, both the customer A and B has requirement from plant and we have the delivery, requested delivery date also in place. And 
as per the delivery date i have i have the first drop to customer a and the second drop to customer b so let us see what is the total cost that is involved in this particular transportation flow we can see total distance if i move is 200 plus 100 that is 300 and since it is a destination based cost my final destination is customer b and it is from the from the plant to customer b it is 1.5 so this rate is applied and the total cost is 450 dollar if the same thing is has been done in a reverse way everything is same my distance is same rates are same so if i move in counterclockwise direction that is first from plant to customer then to customer a then if we check what is the distance and the rate we can see it is 475 dollar so we find the first scenario is much more beneficial than the second scenario and exactly if we set up these things in sap transportation management system while planning it will it will consider this cost and it will propose for the first scenario similarly there is route based cost consideration i have taken the same example of plant customer a and customer b all the distance and the rates are same i am moving in clockwise direction but it is a route based cost not the destination based cost so what will happen is that in this in this scenario it will take up the distance between the plant and customer a that is we have 200 uh, is a distance and rate is 1.9 and from customer a to customer b whatever distance and the rate uh, with respect to that and what we'll find total is 560 dollars similarly if i try to move it in opposite direction with the same rate and same distance what we can see is that the total amount is Four hundred and five dollars. So, if we have this setup in SAP Transportation Management System and during planning, if we choose this route based, it will propose for the second scenario where I have a lot of savings. So, that is the beauty of SAP Transportation Management System with respect to the cost. Now, this is another important aspect while planning happens. So, we often have the the customers who order for different kind of goods. Say, for example, I have taken an example of a dairy plant and the customers order for different dairy products like say for example ice cream cheese and butter milk and cream and they does not go all in the same container they need certain temperature control compartment within the vehicle and very what happens is that if i try to do manual and there are a number of such products and if we try to do manually as we know human always prone to a lot of error Therefore, they will definitely do the error and the wrong product will go to the wrong compartment within the vehicles. But if we have a proper setup done in SAP transportation management system during planning, it will, it will assign the right product to the right compartment. Like for example, ice cream needs minus five degree Fahrenheit to zero degree Fahrenheit. It will move to this compartment C1. For cheese and butter, it will move to compartment C2 and milk and cream move to compartment C3. So this is one, uh, example of incompatibility there can be number of incompatibility like for example some carrier cannot manage a particular product say for example uh, there are carriers who cannot able to deliver with this kind of vehicle which is temperature control so during planning what will happen is that both those carrier will not be assigned for all this it, it will be specifically assigned to the, those carriers for which this kind of product is assigned so there are different kinds of incompatibility that is there is offered by SAP transportation management system. This is another important aspect which is known as time window. Now, as we all know that plants or warehouse, they cannot operate 24 by seven, especially internally they can operate, but externally while receiving goods or transporting goods, they cannot operate 24 by seven. So there are specific windows on which they will get the goods or they will supply the goods. So that is what is known as the time window. And while doing planning, this time window are considered. Here I have taken a very simple scenario of an automaker where we know just in time is one of the important aspect for the automakers. And all this, all the raw materials that they get from the supplier to be collected at proper for time and they will be dispatched to the automaker right at the time when they required so here is the example of that i have supplier one which operates between 7 to 740 
aim and the truck has to move and has to be has to be between 7 to 740 it has to dispatch by 740 once it moves from 740 it has to come and reach to supply 2 between 850 and 930 and the transit time will also be considered which i have not shown here it will also get it will also considered during the planning then it will move to supplier 3 which operates between 10 to 10:30 and the truck will be available there and it has to dispatch by 10:30 and finally supplier 4 which operates between 10:50 and 11:30 so it has to move uh, dispatch at 11:30 and it has to come to this automaker between 12:15 and 12:45 that is the time when automaker is expecting the raw materials to get supplied and exactly this time time windows will be considered during planning so that how how precise sap transportation management handle this kind of scenario or situation which cannot be done manually or cannot be done in a semi automatic system now how planning optimizes the cargo so here i have taken two examples one when without sap transportation management which is done manually so i have a case where manufacturer distribution centers supply a good of 4000 pound which is a requirement by a customer through a truck for given uh, delivery date and they receive it on the other hand the same customer has a demand of 2000 pound of same good or maybe different good it will be sent by another truck on some other delivery date but if we use sap transportation management system with with few setup in it what it will try to do is that it will complete both this both this weight or both these products together, whether they are similar or, or they are dissimilar, that depend on the setup. If incompatibility is there, then they will be dissimilar. They cannot go. So if all these things are considered, and if consultation is possible, then they will do this consultation. And in one truck, it will move to the customer or plant or stores or the DC. So that is the beauty of the SAP transportation management. Now, we also take another example like planning while it will optimize the cost, capacity of vehicle and route. So here also, I have taken a shipment routed individually without SAP transportation management system. So here is a manufacturer of the distribution center, which sends 20,000 pounds of good through a truck to a company XYZ. And the total cost incur is $1050. There is another requirement of 10,000 pound of goods through a truck to another company ABC. and here the cost incur is dollars. So total cost incur, incur is one five five zero dollars. Let me see how uh, with SAP TM it will optimize the cost capacity and the route. So what it will try to see is that whether the consolidation is possible or not, and then it will check that if the, in, the, in the same truck we can able to send the goods to both the customers. So it will check for the requested delivery date if they are very close to each other and if the location of abc company is very close to xyz company it will take under consideration and finally it will check for the first drop that is first requested delivery date if it is abc company it will go to abc company and finally it will drop to xyz company so in the same truck and with the and for the two given customers having the demands of two different weight or products i can able to fulfill in a single shipment and the total cost is one one two zero dollar so if we see the total cost is one one two zero dollar saving is four thirty dollar so that is the beauty of sap transportation management it will consider each and everything very precisely now this is another very very common aspects while we perform the transportation we always expect that my truck should return with some 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 product inside 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 the truck it should not come in vacant form so there are two important functionality that sap tm provides one is a simple continuous move and another, another is the round trip so for example i have a plant at a and i have a customer at b and i have a again i have a plant at c which is near to the customer b and i have another customer which is at d and considering all the delivery date and time and time windows everything i could able to move my
so in this in the in the round trip what will happen is that my cargo will move from plant a and it will uh, it will dispatch to b and while returning it will get some raw materials from vendor c and it will come back to plant a and that is how we can optimize the total movement of the truck and the capacity that is the beauty of sap transportation management now we have the capacity but we have to also ensure that product dimensions matches the capacity and there also we can able to do a lot of optimization now we the customers always orders in either each ea or in terms of cases or in terms of package so they are smaller units so consolidate in the in the form of pallet which is known as palletization which is very common in the transportation industry or in the warehouse management so now sap transportation management also helps to consolidate all these products in a single pallet if mixing happens if if we allow to mix it, it it will mix within the pallet or if we allow to mix within the layer of the of the pallet it, it can also perform that or if you want a pure pallet Number one, then to customer two, then to customer three, or it can it can go up to any number of customers. And if so many products has to be loaded very uniformly, so on the first drop it should be near to the door when we open the door, and the second drop the product specific to that particular customer will be next to it, and then next to it, and then next to it. How the system can do this? So SAP transportation management system provides this functionality, which which helps to locate the exactly which particular product is there in which position of the truck and that is how we can able to deliver right product to the right customer finally we have dangerous good checks also there are certain goods which cannot uh, move with the other goods or which cannot move in a particular route or which particular or particular carrier cannot um, take that goods uh, to move from the source to destinations so these all these dangerous good checks happens on all the different document types which i'm not going into details rather i'll i'll just try to explain what are the checks that happens for the dangerous good they're like valid means right transport which which can take this dangerous good valid quantity how much quantity it can take valid packaging the way it has to be packed it, it, has, it has to be packed the valid route through which it should go then mixed loading is allowed or not it can be mixed with the other products or not and possibility of the customer specific check which can also be done so all this check will happen during the planning and this is what how the planning cockpit looks like this is a user interface where the planner can able to see how planning happens or when the planning happens what are the things considered on the top left corner i have the product dimensions i have the uh, requested delivery date and time and i have the dispatch date and time in place requested delivery date and time in place on the bottom left corner i have the resource which are available and we have to assign this resource to a given cargo towards the right top hand corner i have the results of this planning that is a document will get created which is known as the freight order or the freight booking where basically we can able to see which particular truck the right truck has been uh, assigned to the right cargo to move it from given source to destination considering all the planning aspect which we have explained right now so that happens in the background although we can see only the truck here but when the planning happens if all the setup has been done properly everything will be considered during the planning and it will give the right truck that this is a truck which will move and also the carrier selection happens during this time and on the right bottom corner we have the details of the planning like overview where all the details will be there like stages from which location to which location it is moving having the carrier rank ranking with the allocation and finally the charges so it is very effective and very user friendly where we can able to see everything at a go then we have carrier selection so as we as we know the one of the most important uh, key performance indicator is uh, on time pickup so basically we need to have a list of 
careers and it has to be in a rank so the career or the vendor who will in the top rank or in the list will be have given the preference first to supply the vehicle for the consignment so to have that list what sap transportation management uh, uh, provides is that it will perform a series of filtering so first important filtering is the incompatibility check which i have already explained that whether that particular carrier can carry this product or not then it will check for the in internal cost which particular carrier is giving less cost to move the same same product from the source to destination then we have transportation allocation and business share these are two very important important point that you should consider during the, the transportation what happens is that we cannot rely on a single we give our business to a certain percentage or numbers to each of these carriers. Say, for example, I have five carriers. So I distribute my transportation business uh, in terms of percentage, like 20% to carrier one, 20% to carrier two, another 20%. That is how we try to reduce the monopoly. And it will be much more cost competitive because everybody will try to compete with each other. And finally, we have continuous move the particular carrier who give us discount to have this continuous move so considering all these things we have a list of vendors and that is known as building ranking list and that is the carrier selection part of sap transportation management system now we have carrier in place or vendor in place now it is not necessary that that first vendor will definitely on time will will supply with the vehicle they may not because of their uh, they have some reasons or they cannot able to at that time uh, at that point of time so we have to perform tendering so we have to send the request whether they can able to send me the transport on this and this date and time for this this kind of product which the product which has he has to move from source to destination we perform tendering so here i have cited one example how tendering happens so say for example i have carrier a carrier b and carrier c in in the ranking list in the form of rank so carrier a is first rank carrier b is second rank and carrier c is the third rank so what will happen system will first will send the tendering request to carrier a so when carrier a suppose refuses because he doesn't have the availability of the truck so that refusal reason will come back and it will update my document message refuse then automatically another tendering request will send to my carrier b and there is a certain time period within which he has to respond if he does not respond and if it expired then that will come and update my system and if i go to and then the request go to carrier c and if he accepts this acceptance will come to me and i i will i will assign my cargo to move from source to destination by supplying the truck from this carrier so this is known as peer to peer tendering so one by one we tender and the finally who will be giving me the the consent that i will send i will give you the truck i will assign that carrier to take my goods from source to destination we have another form of tendering which is called broadcast tendering here basically what will happen is that we will tender parallelly to all the carriers whoever will accept it first we will try to assign the cargo to that particular carrier and all other will get cancelled and finally this will update my my document in sap transportation management system now we have truck supplied by the carrier it has to go from source to destination so there are a number of activities which are involved while we transport the goods from source to destination here i have taken one example which we we have to perform the tracking and it has done through execution and monitoring which is one another important functionality of sap transportation management so here is a scenario where basically we are uh, consolidating all the products from an export uh, export port where uh, all the goods are coming from the plants and will get consolidated to the export warehouse from there it will move by either ocean or the air and it will come back to the uh, delivering warehouse or the import warehouse from the import warehouse it it, it will deconsolidate and each of the goods has to be transported to respective customer so there are several loading and unloading points and activities which happens in in this whole scenario now each and every activities with the time 
can be captured and what we call as a tracking. And exactly SAP transportation management system will going to supply with this. So this is the events that is provided by SAP transportation management system for tracking. We have, say for example, some expected events like load, loading the truck, departure or proof of delivery. These are expected and we can plan. Uh, we have the planned delivery dates and time, timestamp, which are planned. And there are actual, when actually it happens, physically when the truck moves, we have the loading of truck and actual time can be uh, punched in the system. Similarly, actual departure can be punched in the system. There are certain unexpected events like accident or breakdown that can also be captured. And finally, there are certain unreported events that events has not been reported at all. So all these different kind of events in terms of timestamp can be captured and this can be generated in the reports with all or with what all key performance indicators we have. And that is how we can able to see how much deviation it have it has happened from our planned one. So this is how the screen of SAP TMs looks like. If you see here we have the load begins and load end. We have planned date and time. We have actual date and time. We have proof of pickup, which is having a planned date and time and actual date and time. So likewise, we have various events and you, it can be scale up to any number of events. Even we can able to track the truck. So GPS can be used, uh, which is there in the deck or with the uh, mobile with uh, with the driver having the mobile, we can able to capture, say, with, with a particular frequency of time period, we can capture where exactly the position is. So from here, we can able to see what is the deviation happening, why it is getting late to reach the customers. So this analysis can be done with the help of this event management. And this is a very powerful, uh, uh, one, a powerful functionality that SAP transportation management uh, delivers. And finally, when the truck reach to the customers, we have to pay the vendor. And here is a robust functionality that SAP transportation management system provides that is known as the charge calculation. It is having the building blocks with agreement. So agreement is basically, we have an agreement with the carriers and that agreement has a validity date and time. And this agreement uh, it will gives us very much transparency between the carriers and it is agreed upon all the costs. And to each of this agreement, we have the agreement items. So this is an SAP terminology, but it has significance on business. Now, say for example, I have an uh, I have a scenario where I'm exporting the goods and I'm importing a goods. So while exporting, it moves from plant to the port and from port to another port, from export port to import port, it is moving through ocean. And from import port to the customers, it will again go through road. So all the costs which will be in this road again in ocean again in another road in different countries will have different costs so these agreement items can take care of that so different cost now for each of the agreement item i have transportation charge calculation sheet so each of these item i have a sheet assigned Type it's considered like say for example the basic ocean freight the bunker adjustment the switch channel fees the terminal handling so all these charges will be considered and finally it is assigned to the red tables so red tables are in the form of excel it will give various dimensions of scales which we can consider or the attributes say for example here i have uh, i have port of loading port of discharge equipment type and commodity the combination of this give me a particular cost so it will it can scale up to all the different dimensions and we can able to assign a particular rate on that and therefore this really helps to uh, to get exactly what charge we are looking for so that is the beauty of sap transportation management system now this is how the screen looks like so if all these things are in set we can automatically perform the charge calculation in the system or we can perform manually so here we can directly get the amount where all the breakups will be there if we select it and see the details of it.
finally when the charge calculation happened we have to settle it to the customers to the vendor sorry i'm i'm sorry to the vendor with supplying uh, truck so what happened is that again we'll take the help of ecc system which is already there in the in place to settle the vendors so what we do is that we from the erp system we we push the sales order or the delivery which 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 will create transportation requirement in sap tm and in turn it will create the freight unit so these are all sap terminology but my intention is i have to go to this document that is the freight order where basically my charge calculation happen and once the charge calculation happen it will trigger a freight settlement document which will ultimately flow to my ecc system in terms of purchase order and service entry sheet so what will happen is that the invoice verification that is actual payment which happens will happen through ecc system which is already there so we need not have to bother about it whatever is there it is there only through integration we are pushing this freight settlement document into the ecc system so this is how it looks like say for example i have freight settlement document 301 which has created in tm system and we can see the purchase order which is created in the ecc system there are two i have taken a simple example two charges one is 1000 usd another is 646.70 usd and what we find is found is that the same charges has been moved to the ecc in this in, in in terms of the purchase order and the same will be paid to the vendor so that is the beauty of uh, sap transportation management system to easily integrate with the ecc system for the payment also finally there is another important uh, functions that sap transportation management provides that is the cost distribution so we can able to see how the how the total transportation cost will be allocated across the products if there are different products or across the line items or Uh, to the different customers in the same consignment so here i have taken across the line items so we have seen the distribution level is erp item and uh, with the help of uh, kg that is weight it will try to uh, proportionally allocate this whole amount so if we see 2100 dollar is the total cost which will be distributed among the first line item uh, of amount 1166.67 and you can see the second line item with 933.33 so how it is get distributed with respect to the weight so the weight here is 500 kg and weight here is 400 kg so proportionately this whole cost will be distributed and the beauty of it of this thing is that we can can able to price the product at the time of at the time of pricing we can able to assign this cost of transportation so that is the beauty what sap transportation management offers so finally after coming after we have discussed all the functionalities that a transportation management system provides we come to the benefits of sap transportation management system and most of the business looks about what is the cost i'm incurring versus the service level i am providing to the customers so this is known as cost versus service level graph where i have cost to my y axis and i have service level on the x axis and this is the curve which is known as opportunity cost curve if you see this curve if my service level is poor i have the risk of losing the customers if my service level is high i i have the risk of losing the customer is less but and there is another curve which is known as inventory cost and transportation cost so when i am increasing the cost i am actually trying to improve my service level but i cannot able to put all my cost to keep the service level as high as possible i have to give a stop somewhere so we are we try to trade off between the opportunity cost on one hand of losing the customers and spending or, or putting the cost for transportation or inventory to maintain the service level so without sap transportation management system with which is providing all the different functions either i am operating at p1 current business is operating at p1 where we can see they are maintaining the low service level so the the there is a high risk of losing the customer or the business try to maintain the service level for which they are incurring lot of transportation cost but what will happen is that my cost will get increase so where i should operate i should operate in equilibrium where by incurring an and an an optimum cost i can able to maintain the service level where the risk of losing the customer is minimal so this is the point p where i need to operate 
and SAP transportation management system with their function will definitely helps you to operate at point P or position P. That is the beauty how SAP transportation management has all the functionality in place. So finally, what are the benefits? The robust planning engine is there, which optimize the vehicle resource for cost and constraints. Vendor selection and tendering, which is most important, that to reduce the cost and improve the availability of the vehicle on time. Execution and tracking, control over time to deliver and maintaining the service level. Charge cal calculation, which is very robust functionality, which control over the total transportation cost. And the cost distribution, which gives allocation of cost per product or customer using the same vehicle. So to summarize, SAP transportation management helps to address most commonly, commonly faced challenges of modern logistics process and it can be easily scalable this will really help to streamline the business process and the transportation process making it more efficient and resulting in a lot of savings and improving the service level for the organization thanks now going to questions thank you Rupak. Um, during the presentation, we received several questions. We are almost out of time, but uh, we can still uh, answer a few of them. So first question is, um, you have explained various constraints like capacity, cost, resource availability, incompatibility, etc. during planning. And in the planning cockpit, we could see only the vehicle resource. How the other constraints are considered during planning? A very good question that you have asked. So what happened is that although the cockpit is uh, showing the vehicle resource, but in the background there are other setups we we, we, have, we have to do. And when we when we set up all those uh, all those uh, parameters that we have explained, that is incompatibility, that is uh, the costs, and we have uh, the uh, dangerous good checks. When we set up all those things in the background, so what happens is that when the planning engine runs the program will check all those conditions all those filters all those constraints and then it will uh, appear to give you the best solution by selecting a particular truck from the cockpit thank you another question that we received is can we generate generate various documents like way bills challenge from saptm system Yes, we can. We can definitely uh, build and print these documents uh, with uh, with a simple configuration which has been given uh, or provided by SAP Transportation Management System. And we need some kind of development that is developing of the PDF. How the document will look like? What what are the various elements in the documents? And what would be the position of those elements? I say, for example, in the Webill, we have we have the consignee and we have the supplier which has to be which 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 have a specific uh, uh, level on where we have to design it so all this design has to be done in the pdf and with a very simple configuration being provided with it we can able to generate and print those documents and not only print we can also send this document to different stakeholders who are using this transportation management system so therefore this can help me to reduce all the manual work uh, while we we used to generate these documents already the next question is is the agreement that we are making with carrier or vendor is same as that of the contract we make in ecc system no the contract that we make in the ecc system is different from the agreement that we do in the tm system basically this agreement is speaks about the exact costs uh, on which we are agreed upon we i have already shown that uh, during the charge calculation, my first important uh, block or building block is the agreement. So first we have to have agreement with the carriers, specifically which each of the cost, the rate the carrier will supply and exactly that rate will be applied during the charge calculation. So that particular agreement is different from what we have uh, the contract between in ECC system. Okay, thank you, Rupak. I think we are almost out of time, so I wanted just to say thank you to everyone who joined us today and uh, to those uh, whose question we haven't answered today. Um, we will definitely 
get back to you via email and we will also send you um, the presentation and recorded video uh, I think in the few next days. So thanks again and have a nice weekend. Bye-bye. Thank you.